I want to slightly shift here in the following way. Uh, one of my hopes and beliefs is that AI will enable a meritocracy where it can lift everybody to their highest level of potential. And it also levels the playing field and gives people an ability to dream more than they've ever dreamed before. That's on one side of the equation. The other side of the equation, I just had this, I uh, just did a Moonshots podcast with Ray Dalio, and we we're talking about where the future is going, and the notion that when the Fed drops rates, now instead of hiring more people, I'm investing in AI agents and robots. And so jobs start vanishing. And for me, one of the biggest <clears throat> dangers of the future is um, a, a fracturing of society where, you know, there's the haves and the have nots, but now we've got people who are not getting the jobs uh, because they're going to technology and automation. Um, and maybe they're getting UBI, but that's not fulfilling. That's not a purpose-driven life. So help me here. What are you seeing? So uh, at Davos, somebody like, I was just walking from this point to that point. Somebody came up to me and was like, you will I am, what do you think of DEI? DEI is not just black and brown and folks that are like, have disabilities to be in the workplace. That's what it was. Um, and DEI is important for innovation. Because when you have black and brown and folks that are disabled working in equal, creatively, creative banter, marketing strategy, uh, biz dev, you innovate. If you just have one type of person- The and, amount of and culture doesn't, doesn't don't innovate. innovate there. But now let's fast forward to 2045. Why DEI now? But you want humans in the loop. <laughs> yeah, now, now the diversity is now nah, we don't want just machines and robots. We want humans in the loop. So when big companies yeah. when big companies <laughs> are wow. like, yeah, we, we're gonna drop our DEI program. What are they, what are they telling you? These companies that are doing that are also the ones that are gonna heavy arm mm -hmm. AI employees. Yeah. That means if you're driving a Tesla and a Tesla's like a level three autonomous vehicle, um, and then, you know, Waymo's are like level five. You don't need a human in it. This means by 2035, there are level five companies. Yeah, no sure. human in it. I mean, I'm, I, I have an AI venture fund, and these are the conversations. It's like we're going to back, you know, the human and the AI, and, and the human's just going to be told, keep your hands off the controls. <laughs> yeah, so it's like level five companies. Yeah. It's new terminology. It's like, we're, like by 2028, and here, terminology like agents, agentic, the agentic society. We that's new. That's twenty twenty five term. That's term. That's today. Yes. That was in twenty twenty two term agentic. No. That's now. Yeah. Level five companies is twenty twenty. You've heard six, it here first. Yeah. You start hearing it. You heard it here first. Yeah. Level five companies, and any all the companies that are like, hey, this company just stopped their DEI program. Why? Here's not. It's not black, brown, and, and folks with disabilities. It's because these companies are going to be the first companies to adopt fully, autonom fully autonomous positions um, or um, augmenting positions to the, eventually just have a full department of AI. But, but the question becomes now, if I say, listen, I am a humanistic uh, CEO or board of directors, and I only hire humans for these, this work, I'm out of business. Yes, you are. You're going to get beat. So, because you're starting to see the play being executed now. We are at play. These we, moves, we, we humans are. Society is at play. Okay. You're seeing these moves take shape now. It doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be that way like, yo, I'm a humanistic company. I only hire humans. <laughs> and damn it. I lost. <laughs> Why'd you lose? Well, because the one employee that got a thousand bots beat me. Yeah. That doesn't have to be that way. For example, yo, bro, I got him. I got a motorcycle. He's like, yo, I just bought a fighter pilot. He can't buy a fighter pilot to drive to, to get to San Diego faster. <laughs> it's not legal for him to do that. All right. He can't go out and buy a stealth. You can't do that. Yes, they exist. 
We know that. We know mm-hmm. a stealth exists. I don't care how much money Elon got. He's not going to be like, yo, fuck these fucking Teslas and fuck a helicopter, bro. I need that stealth. Let me get that stealth. Like, he, he's not doing that. I did that on purpose. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I jazzed it. I made a mistake and repeated it because that's what you do with jazz. <laughs> but anyways, Elon's not doing that. Be like, yo, Elon, you got a stealth, bro? He'd be like, no. I don't have a stealth. How can I get a stealth? Wait, you're the richest dude in the world, bro. You can't just go buy a fucking stealth to get to New York in like an hour? No. There's a certain level of things that are just not fucking possible. So why is it okay that there's going to be level five companies putting humanistic... Com- why is that even... Wait, who's making up these rules? Why is that? Why is that going to be the case? We know that. We know that in 2025 right now, if I wanted to go get a job, I can't get a job without a bank account. I can't get a job without an email account. I can't get a job without a phone. I can't get a job without a laptop. There's certain things that I need. And so that being said, I'm going to pause before I go into number six, which is coming. Now imagine you have some money. You got $20 million. You want to buy a house. You can't go buy a house with $25 million cash. You need a bank account. Now say, for example, you get that house paying that $25 million on a nice house. The person that sold that house, you'd be like, yo, excuse me, where the fuck's the toilet, bro? And he's like, oh, yes, yeah, the toilets. <laughs> this is a new house. Everybody uh, is going to share the same communal toilets. Wait, wait, what the fuck, what? Yes, you know, we share the same communal toilets. And where's the kitchen? Same thing, same communal kitchen. Why the fuck would you buy a house sharing the same communal toilet and kitchen? So why is it that we're walking into a future and we're going to share the same AI? Fuck out of here, bro. That ain't tomorrow. If companies have AIs, people need to have their own AI, Mm -hmm. not access to AI. Like we have access to Spotify. Like we have access to an Uber. Like we have access to everything else. Certain shit is fucking personal. Like my digestive system is mine. My (laughs) immune system is mine. My nervous system, my skeletorial system, my systems are mine. Mm -hmm. So my data system needs to be mine. My AI system needs to be mine. Data is gold. So is my blood and my plasma. That's my shit. And so the AI and the data that's going to be reflection of me should be mine. And it, I, I use that as a metaphor to the communal. It's your shit. You're not going to buy a house where you're sharing bathrooms. So why are we sharing AI? Now, to the sixth thing. When you have your own AI in the society that we're living in, and your data is yours, yes. and there's a fridge, some server in your house. Like in the house, there's a refrigerator that stores all the stuff you're going to eat. For some reason, we shipped all of our data to somebody else's cloud that shared all the stuff that we consumed. That's going to be in the home. Do you operate your own servers? No, no I'm, I'm about to do that. Okay. <laughs> right, just checking. About to, just checking if you're way ahead of everybody oh, else. Oh, I got some GPUs. Okay. I got GPUs and, and servers at, my, at the building. But the notion that every individual owns their own identic AI, right? Mm-hmm. Their, own, their own personal AI. Wait, wait. The word? Identic AI. Identic AI. AI. As opposed to agentic. That's good work. Identic. You is heard it, it here. You is, said is, is, is well, that, is that I, a new word? And I, no, I've heard that before as well. I heard that shit. Okay. So that's just awesome. Write that shit down. Yeah, but I <laughs> but, so, so, but, but <laughs> you know what you know the beautiful thing about having an identic AI is I can replicate myself and I can replicate a thousand of me and I can send them out to every conference on the planet and go out there and so like meet with as many cool people as you can. You know what my interests are, you know who I am in my heart and my soul and what my business interests are. And represent me and come back with, you know, go forth out there and and bring back goodness. Yeah. 